that if you really think about this, and that is in the course of a year, especially here at Family Worship Center, beginning in January, ending in December, if you ever think, take thought of all of the different types of messages mm -hmm. that are preached mm -hmm. and the subject matter mm -hmm. that is covered. Mm -hmm. Now, I said that for a reason because it is the responsibility of the pastor right. to preach the whole counsel Full of God. Counsel. That means we don't get to pick and choose. No chair we picking. preach what the Lord lays upon our heart. Holy and Ghost moves. The minister, the pastor is truly led of the spirit. Hmm. You will notice if you think about it, the, during the course of the year, you will find that messages will be preached that will be messages of hope mm -hmm. and co encouragement and comfort to the congregation. Mm -hmm. You will find that if it's led by the Lord, the preaching that there will be messages of faith mm -hmm. to encourage your faith, to build your faith. Mm -hmm. You will find that uh, there will be at times messages of rebuke mm -hmm. because the church must be kept in line and we are kept in line by the word of God's truth. And sometimes uh, the church has to be rebuked. Mm -hmm. You will hear messages that deal with false doctrine mm -hmm. and the rebuke of that false doctrine because that's our job. Mm -hmm. If we didn't love you or care for you, then we would never say a word about these things and nobody would ever get mad. No perishing. No one to perish. None to perish. Nobody Eco would ever write WWW I hate Donnie all the time. Eco <laughs> If you never took issue with popular fads that are not scriptural, everybody would pat you on the back. Uh huh. Soft spoken but the word. But you stand up and the way say, it is this way and this way only, only, you make people mad. One way. Only one way. And the more self righteous they are, the more they want to kill you. Right. Have you heard on a platter? We had one the other day when when he was his whole world was just blown to bits when we said that foot washing was not an ordinance of the church. Mm. Oh mm -mm. man, he just came all unglued. <laughs> I re gently reminded him. I said, "Well, sir, it was only done once in the Bible. Jesus did it. It was never done again. It was done not really to wash the." disciples feet because they were dirty and they were but it was done to teach the servant principle of the heart yes as the servant child of, of god we are here to serve that's right servants and we should look for opportunities to do that but yes. we don't have to go around washing people's feet <laughs> he didn't still like that i said well lord i said sir you know there was one time in the bible the lord healed a man of blindness by picking up some dirt and spitting in it and make it a mud patty and stick it on his eye. I'll be happy to have you come down and I'll spit in the mud. And <laughs> Are you here? Jesus. People get hung up on things and yes. it's our job to say Father. that's not right. <laughs> if we love you. If we love you. What would a parent be if he never told mm. his children this is right? And this is wrong. What kind of children would we have? I remember when Matthew was 13. Now, we all know, parents, we all know this. From 13 to 19, they're brain dead. <laughs> the lights are on, but nobody's, nobody's home. home. <laughs> right? Parents, am I right? Teenagers, don't get mad at me. The reason why I know this is the truth, because you got... You see, go to the mall. You see a teenager. He's got a 22-inch waist, and he's wearing 48-inch jeans. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Father. And every step, they're hanging down to here. Look. <laughs> the Bible says, prophesy to me smooth things. Say unto me smooth sayings. Amen. But the whole counsel of God is not to be cherry-picked. And a true pastor is to preach whatever God lays on their heart, be it hard to hear, hard to speak, or easy to speak and easy to hear. From Genesis to Revelation, 
God breathed, Holy Ghost moved, and the power of God. Amen and amen. Two natures of God, both loving mercy and wrath. He warns us. Amen. But he also nurtures us and comforts us. Hallelujah.